just imagine a cold day in the middle of November, the 18th of 2022. Retro Studios just released a new Thanksgiving event, but for today, it doesn't really catch your eyes. This weird game on the front page does. You have never seen it in your life, new creator, not much views, not much happening. You may think that it's botted, or the game is bypassed. Well, if you think option 2 is correct, you are correct. Joining the game will make you win as things you've never seen in your years of playing Virtual Studio. Today, we'll probably be interviewing one of the most dangerous human beings ever so for the game we all know of Virtual Studio. Their footprint in Virtual Studio was so loud, they almost made the game shut down Retro Studio for inspection because of their games. If you do not know who Iowa and Retro Studio is, you're living under a rock. He made bypass games for the longest amount of time. Admits are still looking out for their games like his to this day. If you like this type of content where I interview bad people around Retro Studio, make sure to like and subscribe. If this gets 250 likes, or possibly 200 likes, which I'll set it at that, I might make a part 2 with another person. I would appreciate it. Let's get off with today's sponsors of the video. It was one day at I was an account named Cloud for Case Black. Me being me, I decided to friend the account and we chatted until I added him. He said he was the real Owl and Retro Studio. I was a bit skeptical at first because I didn't really know if he was actually that real Owl and Retro Studio since the main account is banned, but he gave me a lot of proof. So I'll be showing the proof and we decided to schedule a little interview. If you still don't know what his games looked like, I'll be showing them right now. Thanks to this creator, they recorded the game back when it was up, and I'll be showing some footage of it. Obviously, as you can tell, like, most of the video says are due to your amount of racial references and tours of the games. I'm surprised this went on for a while. The game got so big sometimes, it could be up to an hour. Anyways, I will add Retro Studio here, it will help us to solve all of our questions we might have in our minds. Enjoy the interview. This is the man right here, I will add Retro Studio, I've been trying to contact him for a while now. Hi Cloud, pleasure to be on. Now, my first question. What made you make bypass games of Retro Studio? Like, what was the point of that? I have noticed the massive flaws of Retro Studio's platform and I wanted to push the limits of the platform. So, you saw the flaws of Retro Studio, that made you bypass games on Retro Studio. That makes a little bit of sense, but I'm not really sure. My next question, how long did it take for you to make the games to bypass games of Retro Studio? The map itself has been developed and streamlined into a plug and play system where I import the model code on a new account and import the thumbnail. They responded by limiting the account creation date and patching out promo codes so that thumbnails are paywalled. I cannot make thumbnails without purchasing Retrobux none of the promo codes count towards my Retrobux sadly. Due to the new update that Retro Studio added, if you redeem codes and your Retrobux is only from the codes, you cannot add thumbnails to your game. That is kind of sad, however, on to my next question we'll have had added on my notepad. Are you planning to make more bypass games in a future date? I am currently 18 and retired from making attempts to end Retro Studio. I have a girlfriend and a job and I'm looking at schools at the moment. I am retired from this point in my life and I have gotten diminishing returns on my bypassed games. I do not want to spend money on bypassed games, and the updates designed to delay bypassed games have made it not worth the effort. I am actually black in real life contrary to what my games may suggest. 
Yeah, I guess that makes things a little bit better that we know that you're actually black in real life. It's nice that you're actually living a life. It's actually pretty surprising that people, bad people in Retro Studio are actually retired. They're actually living good lives now, which I actually appreciate that. On to my next question. What was the first time you've ever made a bypass game? The original Be Racist Simulator is lost to time and featured a completely different map to this one. I did not think to save the model code. I made the game sometime in 2021. I did not intend to put Retro Studio under review at the time, and Admin actually inspired me to create a narrative to these games. He claimed in my band note he knew what I was trying to do and I ran with that to create I Will End Retro Studio. It's actually pretty surprising how you managed to put a full game Retro Studio under review only from your one game. After you saying that it was a totally complete different map from the one we were showcasing earlier in the video. On to my next question, that was actually pretty surprising. Have you ever had a conversation with a retro dev admin? If so, how did it feel like? I have trolled and made friends with many admins, some of which know my main account. They are forced to ban me when spotted online, but many of them turn a blind eye allowing me to keep the game going for as long as an hour. I know that may have surprised some people, knowing how you try to shut Retro Studio down due to all of its flaws, now you're friends with some of the admins. It's a pretty good twist around, however, it is pretty controversial to some people. I have a big question many people want to answer. Why don't you make games anymore? I have finally gotten a life and retired from making these games. And it is not worth it to pay to make these games when it's impossible to find thumbnails and each account costs real world money to effectively do what I could have done in two minutes during the beginning of my efforts. Now due to Roblox strictness nowadays, you can't really make these accounts or bypass games anymore which is pretty understandable. It's pretty hard to find such thumbnails and to make the game last long. It may make Retro Studio go under review again. Anyways, another question. What is your bad message on the I Will End Retro Studio as of right now? My username was flagged as inappropriate and I was banned for trolling crazy blocks on a normal Roblox game under my I Will End Retro Studio account. The ban message simply says username and I was not banned for my bypassed games. That's pretty surprising how it looks like the admins didn't even care that you're trying to shut down the game. They only cared about your username and how destructive it may have been to them. It's pretty surprising. Also, if you don't know, Crazy Box is a now retired Retro Studio admin, which I have gone over in my Iceberg video. Another question I have, do you think Retro Studio is going to boring to the fact making bypass games isn't even worth it anymore? Retro Studio is fun but factoring my current life and the weeks of planning and money it takes to create an account with thumbnails I will never return to the same degree if at all. Me personally, I think Retro Studio is getting boring due to the fact that the games are literally on the same front page every single day. I might have to make a rant video about it, like I did a few months ago where I read it how Retro Studio might become the new Roblox, which is now pretty true, I'd say. Anyways, another one of my questions. Have you heard of the Retro Studio hacking group, Child X? Child X is actually a friend of mine and we talk quite a bit. I was not aware of the rumors he was a hacking group. He seems like a cool guy. I know some Child X members myself, and not gonna lie, the hacking group was pretty infamous for its hacks. There's also a hacking group named Daketopia, which literally ruined the map itself. Another one of my questions, how long have you been making bypass games for? I started in 2021 and peaked in 2022. This is when there was nothing in place to prevent the creation of these games. So that update really did mess up all your bypassed games because ever since Retro Studio made that okay, I haven't been seeing much recently. Another one of my questions which I have been trying to ask. Taking a look at your previous thumbnails of bypass games, how did you manage to find such uncensored things on Roblox? Discord servers and rate my avatar between 2021 to 2022 had a massive catalog of bypassed content. It was extremely easy to find content at the time. Uh, I remember those days as well. I used to get out and rate my avatar, and I would see the most bypassed things on the game. It had to make the game under review, and if I'm correct, I don't think it exists to this day. I don't know my questions. How much people have joined one of these bypass games at once? The peak was 250 visits as far as I remember. To be honest, that's pretty big for a bypass game. I'm surprised I didn't get taken down. 
I would pay for a bypass game around 10 to 150 visits. Soon that Abby will know this. My main account isn't actually Cowboy ASE. I simply used Inspect Element to put a random player from Discord's profile on the screen and took a screen shot of the Retro Studio menu. I did not expect to have the admins believe it. I'm in a position where I cannot clear his name without revealing my identity, and I cannot express regret without it seeming like an attempt to clear his name. This is my biggest regret. ASE is not active anymore and I tried to help him get his account back. I would have no reason to share my screen in a normal interaction and I am not working with any other people to make these games. Oh well, yep, he isn't really working with anybody, he's making all of this just solo. And he kinda confronted this some stuff, so make sure you listen to him. So I decided that I have a bit of surprise for you guys, this will be the end of the interview, but I have a bit of something to show you guys for watching the whole video. Now here's the model ID for the clean version of the bypass map. From what I know, he made it so there's no bypass or racial things in this. So use this for your own cost. Put in your game, whatever you want to do. It's pretty cool like the aftermath without the bypass things. Cool to visit, but sadly, this is making us closer to the outro of today's video. Well, we just learned something new. If you guys enjoyed this interview with the Myth Owl and Retro Studio, Make sure to leave a comment down, like, subscribe, and also if you have some spare money, become a channel member, I'll really appreciate it. I was excited that I got to interview him. Back in March, when I had around 400 subscribers, he was actually fit at that time, and I encountered one of his games, and then he said that I created the game, and I helped make it, and I was pretty shocked myself. There's a screenshot of it still. It was cool having an interview with him. Hopefully, we can possibly market a point with the infamous Retro Studio hacking group, Child X or anyone else would be somewhat controversial. I don't really know about retro drum these days. I hope you have a good day life and adios.